Yo, what's up, YouTube? You wouldn't catch me doing a live video very often. And I don't really like doing this, but I have to give y'all an update because it's been like over a month since I did a video. Um, so just to let y'all know, I've been very, very sick uh, since the last time that uh, that you guys saw me. I was talking about having a blood clot in my leg. Well, um, they went from bad; it went to bad to worse, and it traveled. Um, I was rehospitalized, and uh, they were trying to stop it from going to my heart. So I was pretty jacked up. Um, I'm still kicking. I'm still here. So hey, now I go in for some more treatment on Tuesday, uh, just to check on the cloud itself and progress, to make sure that it's breaking up and whatnot. So uh, yeah, I mean I've been messed up, man. I ain't been able to walk, uh, pretty much do anything. I was bedridden for about a week. So, um, yeah, that's what it is, man. So, sorry about that for those of you who uh, just care about Project Mayhem. Um, but, yeah, otherwise than that, man, I got some things going in the shop right now. Uh, so, it's going to have you guys check that out. Um, right now, I'm putting the uh, heads and rockers on my man Luis's uh, motor. Um, I'm actually going to take that harmonic balancer off and either paint it or swap out for a new one because I don't like those stock ones, they're not really very good, especially for motors that are going to see some abuse. Um, by the way, I got some GT40 heads in the house that I just had rebuilt uh, by one of my sponsors and uh, they were supposed to be for a cat to come pick them up today but he stopped picking up his phone, he stopped answering his messages, so he did the flake thing, you know what I mean? So, hey, whatever, you know what I mean? I'm going to sell them, somebody going to want them, trust me. I, I know uh, what they are and what they're worth. Uh, we go over here, I got this uh, GT40 lower. Um, I'm going to drill and tap for the ACT. And uh, I got some heads here, I got to continue uh, porting. Uh... What else we got in here? I got two T5s that I got to run through. One's for my man Ricky and one is for Project Mayhem. This one I'm going to use for my man Ricky because it's got the bubble top. It's real nice and whatnot. This one's going to require a little bit more work, but I'm going to do it on the show so you guys can actually see how I build my T5s and why they last a whole lot longer than the competition. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so check it out. I went to pick up the stuff from Crowheat. Remember, I took all the stuff out there to Crowd Heat and did an interview with him. So here's my crank. He had micro polish a crank. I mean, he did an amazing job. Check out what he did to the rods, though. <whistles> Looked like jewelry, man. What he did. I don't care what nobody say, man. Anybody got something bad to say about my man Josh, we're going to come to blows, man, because he did me right, you know. Check it out. He made these wrist pins look brand spanking new, man. These are uh, the, these uh, little pins for the uh, pistons, and you know, you know, you guys had already seen how he did the lifters for me. So uh, we're gonna send the pistons back out actually, and have him finish those up, uh, micro polish those as well. Uh, they only take off about half a thou um, from the surface, so um, it's still gonna leave it within spec. But he did everything, man. He did the girdle. He did all that. So we're going to start putting the motor together. So, yeah. That's pretty much all that's been going on with the dog, man. I mean, all this, these projects been piling up on me because I've been sick, you know. So, um, hopefully the doctors can figure out why my blood keeps clotting and what is actually going on. Because I'm a very healthy guy as far as exercising. I jog every morning. I practice martial arts. All that good stuff. And for some reason... Um, my blood is still clotting up. See, office, oh, it's a mess. Ah. <laughs> still got that old blanket over the window because we haven't got any blinds yet. But we're still putting it together. So, you know, it takes a long time to set up a shop, the way, at least the way I want it, you know. So you can see I painted, then I stopped right there and it got all sloppy. So I got to get up there, finish painting. Then I did the gray right up to there, ran out of paint. But I got some new paint, so I'm going to go ahead and go all the way around, all the way to the side. And who's out there honking like they lost their mind? I don't know. But anyway, we back, man, Junkyard Dog. And so stay tuned, man. I'm going to do an episode tomorrow um, about 
uh, the, the Mayhem block. I'm actually going to install... Um, actually, no. You know what? No, no, I shouldn't say that because I still got to take the stuff to get balanced. Got to take the rods and the pistons and everything to get balanced. Because, uh, I, I, you know, vibration kills blocks. You know what I'm saying? So, and check it out. I got this fly flywheel for it, too. Uh, light and steel flywheel. So, I'm going to have that cleaned all up and uh, taken care of, too. So, yeah, now I just got to find a harmonic balancer and uh, we can put that motor together. Finally, you know, it's been like six, seven months, you know, trying to put that together. So, yeah, it's hard when you're doing it on a budget, but. You still got to do it, you know what I mean? Because we junkyard dogs, you know what I mean? All right. So, to the next episode, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for hanging with me. I really appreciate it, y'all. All right? Junkyard dogging.